guys, it's Brie with Argo Iris Ranch and it is 32 degrees outside, but there's a few things that I wanted to go ahead and try to get done this morning. I have these two big galvanized tubs that I got from an estate sale at a great price. And I'm gonna be planting the tulips that I got and the irises that I got from my Brex order. I did a video of me unboxing that order, so I'll link that down below so y'all can see that. And I wanna show y'all what I got from Walmart last night that I'm pretty excited for. So let's go ahead and get all my stuff outside and then we'll get started. So the first thing I have to do is flip them over and drill drainage holes in the bottom of these. You definitely want to make sure that's the first thing you do if you go to plant in one of these galvanized tubs. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these over and get some drainage holes drilled. So what I did is I took a half inch drill bit and then I drilled one hole in the center and then I drilled four other holes. I'll go ahead and turn you around so you can see what it looks like. Just like that. Now to flip these back over and start getting dirt in them. So this right here is my dirt of choice that I like to use when I plant anything. And I can only get mine at Lowe's. Home Depot doesn't seem to carry it, and I don't think Walmart has it either. So I get it from Lowe's. It's like seven something a bag. I got both of them filled up most of the way with dirt. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide the tulips and the irises evenly between the two tubs and just set them out for now. So I know I have 12 of the black is black irises and I want to have the irises in the center of the tubs. So I have six in the middle of one of them and six in the middle of the other one. And then I have 70 of the flaming flag tulips and then I have 20 of the queen of the night tulips. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tulips out of the bags and kind of play with them and see how I want to lay them out. And then I'll show y'all what I decide at the end. The first thing I'm going to do is just cut these tags off of the irises. Thank you. 
So this is what I'm thinking about doing. So you see the iris is in the middle. And then this outer ring right here is the queen of the night tulips. And then I have a bunch of flaming flag tulips around the outside perimeter. So I know this is a lot of bulbs in this container. I want it to be nice and full and like be a big wow factor. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So it says to plant these six inches deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and push these down into the dirt. Luckily my dirt is really, really soft and loose and fluffy. So it won't be hard to push these down at all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the irises in as well. Now remember on irises, you don't wanna actually plant the rhizome underneath the soil. Um, you'll have them sticking out and you'll see that. I'll show you that in the video. Change of plans, I don't think that's quite going exactly how I wanted it to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the irises back out, take the bulbs out, take out some of the dirt. That way I know the tulips will be buried the correct depth down into the dirt. And then we'll kind of replant them all. So hang tight, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out real quick. So now I got all the stuff back out of the pot and then I took a good amount of the dirt out and now I'm gonna go ahead and lay them back out how I want them. And I'm gonna fill up the top with dirt. So I'll go ahead and show you that now.
Got the first container done. Now I'm gonna go and do the exact same thing to this container over here. So taking out the dirt, laying the tulips in, and then covering them up with dirt was so much easier than trying to shove them down into the dirt. And at least now I know they are buried the correct depth. So I got them both all planted. I can't wait to see these start blooming in spring. I think these are going to be absolutely amazing. Now in case you're curious and you have two of these big galvanized tubs and you want to know how much dirt you're going to use, let me show you what I used. So each one of these bags hold two cubic feet. I used one whole bag and then this bag only has a little bit down in there in the bottom. So I am going to go ahead and just water these in so they're all so that way they can all settle in and the dirt can settle down. And that's pretty much it for this project. And then I wanted to go ahead and show y'all what I got at Walmart last night. So my sister texted me yesterday and sent me a picture that they had gone to Walmart and they got some flowers. So I immediately told my husband, we were already out, we were getting ready to actually head home from a little get together with my family. And I was like, hey, so I think we should stop by Walmart. And he was so nice and he took me, and so me and my daughter ran in and let me show you what we got. I am so excited. So the first thing we got, they're called Kelvin Floodlight Dahlias. And these are so pretty. And it says it comes with two bulbs but there are way more tubers in here than just two. So I think they're just counting bulbs as like two clusters or something because there's a lot in here. So I was pretty happy about that. The next one is called a Moto Dahlia. Look how beautiful that one is. And then the other one is a Lucky Number Dahlia. That is a beautiful shade of pink. That's gonna be really, really pretty. 
And same thing, it says it only has two bulbs, but I see one huge cluster just right here, and that's only in the top corner of the bag. So I'll be really excited to see actually how many tubers are in here when we open them and plant these. So that's it for the dahlias. And then we did get this full tied bearded iris. I thought that was absolutely beautiful. We just got one, we just wanna see how it looks, but I think I'll like that one. And then we got two bags of the gladiolus. They come with 16 bulbs in each bag. This first one my daughter picked out, these are called Espresso. So I think they're gonna be kinda, they, they look almost black. It's windy out here, got trash flying around. So yeah, so these ones are called Espresso. And then these ones are called Purple Flora. Gorgeous purple color. Purple flowers are one of my favorites. So I am gonna be giving a couple of each of these bulbs to my sister, um, or rhizomes, I guess these are rhizomes. So I am gonna give these to her, but whenever we do go and plant these, I will definitely bring y'all along and show y'all where I plant them. Um, I gotta figure that out. Uh, we have an addiction of buying stuff and not knowing where to put it. I think that's a lot of gardeners problems. So I gotta figure out where we're gonna put all these now. But Walmart had a lot of beautiful things. They had so many peonies and lilies and just so many different beautiful things. So I highly recommend just going and checking them out. Um, the prices are pretty good. The bag of 16 gladiolas were only $5.42. Um, actually, all of this was only $5.42 each. So, um, I don't know the quality of these, so I don't know exactly how well they're going to do. But for $5.42, why not buy them, stick them in the ground, and see how they do? And then, of course, they do multiply the tubers. So, if they do do well, then you'll end up with so many tubers of beautiful flowers. So I'm really, really excited to grow all these flowers this year. Last year, um, my main flowers that I actually grew were only sunflowers and zinnias, and they were gorgeous. And so this year I plan on growing a lot more flowers. So definitely stay tuned. I will definitely keep y'all updated when we plant these and when they start blooming and you'll see them in my garden tours. And I'm really excited. So I think that's all I wanted to do for today. I do need to go ahead and go get my lemon trees out of the shed. It got down to 28, I believe, last night. So we did bring them inside in the shed. So I'm gonna get those out. And then I think that's it. I'm gonna go inside. My husband's gonna start working on his shed today. So he's been slowly collecting all the materials for that. So he's pretty excited. So I'm gonna go inside, relieve him of baby duty so he can come out and get started on that. Thank y'all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.